Hey everybody, good evening. Uh, tonight's show is a little bit different. Obviously, uh, the news of today is so horrendous that it would seem uh, insensitive at best to say it's a great day for America. Um, so I, I, won't, I won't be starting the show with that tonight. Um, I, uh, I, is anyone else sick of the I seem to have to uh, say that too often. I have to, you know, not say it's a great day for America for some a random act of, of, of madness or terrorism or uh, it, anyway, it, it's the way it is. And, and the trouble is, of course, uh, by the time you get to this show, uh, you know, 12.30 in your region or wherever, the, the, uh, oh, uh, uh, Craig, is it okay to laugh? Yes, it's okay to laugh. But it, the thing is, by the time you get to this, the show, you know, the media has been pouring over the events of the day. Uh, there's constant analysis and speculation on the assumptions that uh, people don't. And I'm not, I'm not here to do that. I under, you know, people say to me, Craig, your job is to make people laugh at the end of the day. And I think, yes, that's true. Uh, but I've never professed to be any damn good at that. And. <laughs> And the thing is that, you know, people, people want their mind taken off it. And I think, well, okay, if you want your mind taken off it, you know, watch a cartoon or a video or something. I understand it. It's perfectly acceptable. It's not a, it's, it, I don't, you know, I don't think it's a terrible thing to not want to think about it. But I, I can't not think about it. You know, I can't not think about, I'm a, you know, the deal I made with you when I, when I started this show was that, you know, I'll be as honest as I can be. So I have to be honest. Well, we'll do the best show we can do. We'll, we'll have some laughs. We'll do it. You know, we'll do what we do, but uh, to a degree. But I, this is, this is on my mind. I can't pretend it's not there. I'm not, I, I'm not one of those people. I'm not a valuable quality entertainer. <laughs> And also, you know, I have a, I have a personal connection uh, with the city of Boston. Uh, I, uh, I have some history there, I have family there. Uh, I, uh, when I became an American citizen in 2008, I spoke at Faneuil Hall on July 4th at the invitation of uh, Tommy Menino, who is the mayor of Boston and uh, one of the more colorful characters in, uh, in American politics. Who would have thought the city of Boston would rise up with an interesting and colorful politician? But it happens from time <laughs> to time. But the, uh, the, the city of, of Boston, you know, I, I, I've been there on the 4th of July many times on the... Uh, uh, the Esplanade there with that big half shell or clam shell, or I always get it wrong, but you know, with the, I've done that a lot, and every cop in Boston looks like I'm his brother. <laughs> you know that's true. <laughs> so, I, you know, I, 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 my first stand up special in America, I shot it in Boston. I, I'm used to, uh, I like that town. I, 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 I'm, I'm appalled. Uh, the, by this this thing, you know, and, and when I watch it on these, you know, on these streets that I know, you know, you watch the, the media going over and over this thing on the streets that you know, it's horrifying, you know, and people say, oh, you don't let the terrorists win. They're not, they're not winning. I just, it's there. It's there. And I know when people say, oh, we don't know if it's a terrorist. Yes, we do. Whoever did that, whoever did that thing wasn't doing it for any other reason. I mean, clearly they uh, failed in achieving the number of deaths and carnage that they were trying to get. You know, this wasn't some brave commando that snuck into a military installation and put a limpet mine on a, the side of a battleship and then snuck out, you know, fearing for his own life. This was some that went into a public place and left something there that he knew was going to blow up. That's not a soldier, that's a terrorist. That's not a soldier, you know? So, you know, if, if I can't, if I, if I have all this inside of me, you know, if I have all this rage and anger and uh, distress and upset inside of me, I'm not good enough a comedian to hide that from you. I can't hide it from you. It's there. So we'll have uh, our guests out tonight and I'll ask them about their lives. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to be. <laughs> Luckily, we have uh, a couple of guys tonight who I think, it, it, you know, we, we got a shot. Uh, they're intelligent. Uh, uh, experienced, clever men. Rob Lowe and Larry King are my guests tonight. I think we'll be all right. Uh, 
Join us after a break and we'll carry on. All right.